Alright, welcome to part 4 of the tutorial where we will handle importing into the game itself. So, um, now that we have everything all ready, everything's named what it needs to be. Uh, shield, is supposed to be shield 1. Um, you gotta make sure Link's name is Link. Another thing to make sure you have is that Link's actual model here. His name has to be rigged mesh, all lowercase, or it will not work. So, after you have that named what it needs to be, you're gonna take select the skeleton, make sure it's in object mode. Select the skeleton. Actually, I'm gonna show you how to fix the normals just in case they're messed up. So you'll go into edit mode, edge it, and then you'll click edge mode. Click A to, to make sure everything's selected. We'll go for blend for web, which was uh, the third thing I had you um, install. This makes it uh, really easy to fix normals if you don't feel like can't doing them yourself, or if you don't know how to use Blender. So it's really helpful. So we'll click average, restore, average, restore. Uh, it doesn't matter how you do it. Just one of them works. I'm not sure which one. I haven't tested. We'll go back into object mode. You'll select his skeleton. It, I cannot stress this enough that it has to be the skeleton. Do not select the model. Select the skeleton, file, export, obj, extended. We'll click that. That is the main plugin for this tool. And we are just going to, just to make it easy, we're going to put it inside object link child. Why not? And we'll name it object link child, obj, ex. We'll export that obj. There we go. Now let's get it into the game. So we're going to open up our tutorial folder here. We are going to go to tools. We are going to click, um, where did I put that? Oh, we're going to go to ZZ convert windows, unless you're on Linux. And then you're going to click ZZ convert, ZZ convert GUI. And it'll bring up this little thing here. You're going to want to click link hierarchy format and embed it the uh, play as that. If you do not click these, the model will be broken in game and it looks kind of funny sometimes. Click this here. Select the obj ex file you wish to convert. Okay, and we want our mode which is exported, which will be in the tutorial folder. Object link child, there it is. Open that. Now, name for the ZOBJ. We'll name this MLM link. That is the OBJ. And we'll click save. And if it goes correctly, you should have this, which has all your display lists and stuff. Now, we're not done yet, but before we move on, I want to explain something about the eyes textures and the mouth textures. The way it works is um, let's go to our model folder here. Uh, textures. This is where we this is where we had our model. We'll scroll down. There's our normal eye textures, but then we have these setup eye textures. This makes it really easy. Um, this has had the same beginning name as your actual eye texture, so that it can find it. The con uh, this converter here, and it has had this name. So what I just do is I just take this texture and I edit it with my new eye textures for my custom models because that's easier. Same with the mouth here. And as long as it has this in the same folder and the mouth is, it has the same beginning as your actual eyes or mouth texture, it'll work just fine. All right, so tools, wrong tools, <laughs> tutorial. Now to the actual tools. Now we'll go to ZZ Play As Windows, ZZ Play As.exe, and I'll bring this up. Now this is where you'll, right here, you'll select the ROM that we um, got ready in the last video. Um, where did we put that? Right, it should be tools, object with mesh, there we go, optimize link object, open that. Now for the manifest, we'll go to tools, and it should be in there, with the, in there too, I guess. Object link. No tools. Uh, object link child is where it's at. Open that. Bank zobj. Now this should also be in that folder. If it's not, 
then it should be in one of the programming folders other than child other than child optimized this is what that patch applied was this new object file here all right we'll open that and then our new zobj that we just made with the converter so that'll be mmlink.zobj so now that all that's ready we'll click import now i just did this over adult link because i'm a little bit dumb so we're going to do that over here where we need it so we'll go over one more time manifest manifest child that's a x p bank.zobj that'll be the object link child optimized play as that zobj that'll be our new zobj now we'll click import on young link that's the one we want and we'll click import and that is it that it should work in game so let's go test it wait for it to open here all right if everything went well it should load in game just fine There we go. Um, texture issues are something that um, I'm not quite sure about. Well, let's check the sword and shield here. And there we go. They work. I'm sure the texture issues on Link are actually because I clamped things that didn't need to be clamped, but it it worked. Has everything lined up the way it needs to be? It sure looks like it. Alright. Now let's see if we can fix this. But some quick skeleton again. File, export, OBDX. Um, object link child. Uh, yes, what we want. We'll go back over to our converter here. And putting it back through is just that easy. So this makes it so easy to bug test your stuff. Now let's test that again. Even if this import doesn't work perfectly, it, it should be enough to at least teach you how to kind of get it in working. I did not fix it. So basically what the issue with the model is, is uh, the exporter I used to export the model from the Z uh, original ZOBJ isn't the greatest and so some of the textures are messed up. So I don't quite know how to fix those textures. So what I'm going to do is I'm still going to um, provide this model so you can follow along. But you should not have this issue with your custom models as long as your textures are fine. And I'm pretty sure they should be because every custom model I've tested has come out perfectly fine. So I will provide everything that you need. I'll keep the PNG textures and TGA textures just in case the MTL I provide doesn't convert the PNGs perfectly. So the, the original textures will be there. But yeah, as long as you follow along and you have a result that works in game where everything's functioning with the body and the sword and the shield, then you can feel free to try your own models and uh, feel free to show me how they go. Um, so. Thanks everyone for watching the tutorial. I hope it helped and um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, be sure to comment below. I will try to answer anything I can and uh, have a great day.